Hey guys, um, I am live um, from my own personal kitchen, which is, I mean, huge. Um, a lot of you might know that I um, came home on Friday afternoon and um, I've been here ever since and it might not seem like a big deal to be home um, from my kitchen, but here I am and um, not having like all the crazy fall signs behind me for those of you that are watching me um, live from um, the hospital is such a huge deal for me. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. You guys, I, I blow dried my own hair today. Like I got it, I, my mom helped me wash it. I can't wash it myself, but I blow dried it and I strained it myself. I feel like a new person, <laughs> which sounds crazy too, but I'm so excited. I feel so much better being home. Um, you know, I tried to make the best of all my time at the rehab hospital because I had so much PT and so much help. Hi Steph, thank you. There's so many people on. You guys are awesome. Um, and I definitely made the most of it, um, but um, it's nice to be home, and I'm sleeping so much better. Um, I have my own bed, which is a huge deal. Um, I can tell you I'm taking like way less painkillers, like none during the day, because I just feel like maybe I'm just more comfortable, I don't know, but um, which is obviously a great thing, like the less medication I can take, the better. Thanks, Ruth Ann. Um, I appreciate all the amazing comments. This has like been quite a whirlwind for us. Um, and for those of you wondering, my dogs are here. Um, that wasn't originally the plan, but um, it just so turned out that they're here and they are being like freaking amazing. And they're not afraid of the wheelchair and they're, you know, respecting my space. And so, um, and I feel normal with them here. You know, I was like, it's gonna be hard with them not here, but I feel normal with them here, um, which is really, really helping, I think, my recovery too. I can't do much with them. Um, obviously I can't like walk them or do much with them, but we have a fenced in yard and my husband's able to walk them. My parents have been helping. So it's really nice to have them here. I think Fenway's somewhere outside and Sydney's over on the couch with my husband. So yeah, so I'm here and I'm feeling like I can't even tell you so much better. Like I said, just like being in my own bed and using my own bathroom and having my own shower, which by the way, my hair is growing in like super fast. I don't know if you guys can see that but it's growing in super fast. Um, and, um, and yeah, I mean, I'm feeling overall way better. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Catherine. There's so many fun people on. This is so awesome. So I just wanted to give you guys kind of like a little update and let you know that I was doing well and that home was going well and I was behaving myself. I'm not doing anything that I shouldn't do. So that's good. Um, and the visiting nurse came and saw me and they're gonna come out a couple times a week just to check on me. Um, PT will come tomorrow and see how many times I need PT a week. So um, that's good. Hopefully a bunch of times PT will come out. Thanks, Melanie. Thanks, Lori. I feel good, like I really do. Um, obviously like not totally back to myself yet and um, not feeling like obviously 100%. I still can't walk. I'm still wheelchair bound. Um, I go for my ortho follow up on the 22nd. So I'll know then what is going on with this pelvic um, thing, which is, kind of annoying but um, this too shall pass and when they take it out and when I can start walking again which will be a huge day obviously when I can start walking again so um, everyone has been coming to visit me at home which has been amazing um, I am taking grandma naps in the afternoon heck yes to the grandma nap I'm still like pretty tired um, I think that's part of recovery though um, like between three and five, I get really, really tired. Um, Chana, yeah, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Chana, Chana. Um, OT is coming as well. PT and OT are coming. Um, I don't need speech therapy. Um, I don't think I need an aid. I've been like getting washed up pretty well by myself. Um, I take these really sweet sponge baths, you guys. They're, they're really awesome. My first shower is also going to feel super awesome. Um, but I'm not stinky, everyone tells me. So I'm clearly <laughs> cleaning up okay. Um, and I'm not obviously sweating a lot because I'm just like doing like PT and OT. I'm not like doing a ton of cardio because I can't walk. 
So um, I get cleaned up every morning and um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling so much better being here. I'm so glad they let me come home. Um, I have like so much support here and it's nice that my family doesn't have to like drive to rehab to see me every single day and um, I'm not stuck in like a rehab bed and I can move around my house pretty well. I will tell you like we have first floor living um, and that I never thought would come in handy at 33 years old. Like never. We have our, we have two beds and a bath upstairs and then we have our bedroom and bathroom downstairs. Um, and we have like two steps to get into the house. So we put in a ramp and I have like one of those awesome like old lady, sorry if anyone has them, toilet seats over so you can like, like hold on to the toilet basically <laughs> when you get on. Um, and then I have like a little exercise step to get into the bed because the bed's kind of high. But um, thanks Tom, I feel good. Thanks Jeanette. Um, yeah, so I, we had like minor adjustments to make for me to come home, but honestly, like nothing huge at all, which is, you know, another huge, um, blessing in all this, I guess I would say is that, you know, my house is pretty, um, handicap accessible, which will be a good selling point when we go to sell this house. And it's weird. It's probably going to be something that I think about when we buy our next house, whenever that is, um, and something I definitely didn't think about before, something I wasn't thinking about when I put, um, I built this house and I put um, a bedroom and bathroom on the first floor and I didn't really think about it. Um, and then I'll tell him, hi, the special toilet seat does rock. Um, it's similar to my 100 year old grandma's toilet seat. Um, it is over the toilet though, so I can like go and use the normal toilet. It just has like these fun like handrails. So um, you have to like have some fun with it, you guys. Like it's, it's just part of the process, you know? So, um, so I'm saying I'm a lot, but yeah, I just want to come and say hi and let you know that I am home and I am doing well and I appreciate all the support. And, um, it's so nice to like be able to have my own food made. Um, it, I mean, the hospital food was fine, but I can't say that I miss it and eat when I want. They were serving me breakfast and lunch at eight and 12, which I feel like is pretty normal, but then dinner at five. And I'd be like, to the five o'clock dinner and they were like, eh, that's just when we serve dinner. So, uh, I don't, I don't really miss that. So there are definitely some things I don't miss. I am going to miss like all the PT and OT and groups and stuff, but I'm pretty sure that, um, they're going to send plenty of people out to do that with me here. And I actually did my PT exercises today on my own because we have a ton of equipment here. Um, cause we have a gym downstairs. So I had my husband bring up the light weights and I was able to do my arm exercises and the leg weights. Um, I can put weight on one of my legs. Like I can not physically put weight on it, but like I can put a weight on it. So, um, yeah, so I'm doing, I'm doing well and I really can't complain. And I wanted to thank you all again for the support and I will definitely keep you guys updated throughout the week on how things are going here. I expect that they're going to continue to go well. I'm sleeping so much better. Uh, it's just like, it's a world of difference when you're not getting woken up at four in the morning for someone to take your vitals. And I know like for my nurse friends, I have a lot of respect for you and I know that you guys have to do it. Um, but it's just, it's hard and it's hard to go back to sleep after that. And it, it's not easy. So, um, I don't miss that part of it. And I am excited that I can sleep through the night now and I'm feeling good and my husband is here with me and we get to sleep in the same bed which might not seem like a lot to some people but um, it's a lot it, when you're not when you're not used to that and you haven't been able to do that stuff in a while it's nice to like sleep next to your husband and pet your own dogs in your own house and sit on your own couch it's the little things that you appreciate when you don't have them so I hope you guys keep rocking on. Happy first day of football Sunday. We have been sitting watching football all day. So if you hear football in the background, that's just my husband watching football. Because um, our office is upstairs. So I usually do my videos from upstairs. But I can't get upstairs right now. So I will not be doing that. Um, I will be broadcasting live from our lovely kitchen dining area. Um, so yeah, and I don't know what I'm going to do about this hair because it's growing in so fast, but I'll figure out something. I'm thinking like some like clip in extensions and then I can do like the crazy comb over. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far yet, but it is nice to be able to like 
dry it and straighten it myself and like feel feel you know a little bit more normal although this does look pretty badass I think you guys might agree I look pretty punk and I got like the purple under here somewhere there it is there's the purple um I look pretty punk right now so yeah yeah go Patriots is right they play at eight I think so for those of you um waiting for the game we play eight we'll be up i'm sure watching it so thank you guys again for everything i wanted to just like i said let you know that i'm here and i'm doing well i'm doing better than i was in the hospital and i was doing pretty well in the hospital um every day i feel a little bit better my face is still like kind of tight um and i saw the plastic surgeon on friday again and he um, dismissed me, if you will. I don't need any plastics done on my face, and my whole face was like shattered. So, um, that is huge that I don't need any plastics done on my face. My whole, like, all of the bone, all the breaks, I guess, were like lined up, so they're just gonna kind of like realign themselves. I'll take it, right? Like, less surgery. My teeth kind of hurt. Um, that's normal. My jaw kind of hurts. He said that's normal. So, I'm just sort of waiting for all that stuff to subside. Um, and I can go back to like, he said I can go back to like a regular diet, um, you know, whatever doesn't hurt me, I can chew. So, so, so that's my update. So, um, I hope you guys, like I said, have a great rest of your Sunday. Um, go Pats. I will be up for the game, I'm sure, because I took a grandma nap from like 3.30 to 4.30, because that's what I do. Um, loving those grandma naps. And um, I will definitely update you guys this week. Um, once I see the physical therapist and don't worry after I see the ortho and I know when this crazy pelvic thing is coming out, I will let you know. I, um, I'm excited for it, but I need to be patient and make sure the bones are fully healed because I want a full recovery, obviously. So have a great rest of your night and I will chat with you guys later. Bye.